This is from your newswire.com. Hillary Clinton ordered the Waco massacre leading to 76 deaths. It was Hillary Clinton, not Bill, not Janet Reno, Webb, Hubble, or Vince Foster, who ordered the Waco massacre in 1993 that led to the death of 76 Americans, including 21 children and two pregnant women. The Waco attack motivated Timothy McVeigh to launch the Oklahoma City bombing two years later. First Lady Hillary Clinton pressured Deputy White House Counsel Vince Foster and Webb Hubble to use military force in resolving the Waco standoff due to the saturated media coverage the standoff was receiving, distracting from her new health care reform, Hillary Care. White House aide Linda Tripp suggested that Deputy White House Counsel Vince Foster and Ms. Clinton's direction transmitted the order to move on to the Branch Davian compound and culminate in a military style attack. Give me a reason not to do this, Janet Reno said. I begged with the aide shortly before orders were issued in the final assault, during which 85 Branch Davidians were burned alive. Tripp's allegation lent weight to charges made previously by Special Forces agent and Waco investigator Steve Barry, who claimed Hillary Clinton set up a special crisis center in the White House to deal with Waco. Serving with her was Vincent Foster, who according to his widow, was subsequently fueled by horror at the carnage at Waco, for which the White House had ultimately been responsible. In the 1999 documentary Waco, a new revelation, former House Waco investigator T. Mark Bell recalled, one of the interesting things that happens in an investigation is that you get an anonymous phone call. We in fact received anonymous phone calls from Justice Department managers and attorneys who believe that pressure was placed on Janet Reno by Webb Hubble, pressure that came from the First Lady of the United States. Foster himself was found dead from a gunshot wound to the head in a Virginia park three months later. Could he have known too much about Waco? Journalist Ambrose Evans Pritchard maintains that Foster had been drafting a letter involving Waco on the very day of his death. Moreover, Evans Pritchard says that Foster kept the Waco file in a locked cabinet that was way off limits to everyone, including his secretary. Prior to Waco, Foster was dignified, decent, caring, and smart, says Linda Tripp in its aftermath. Vince was falling apart. Tripp was with the former White House deputy counsel when news about Waco broke on television. I was with him. Well, we had CNN all the time, not to be plugged in, but it was always on in the White House. And a special bulletin came on showing the atrocity at Waco and the children. And his face, his whole body just slumped. And his face turned white. And he was absolutely crushed knowing. Knowing the part he had played. And he had played the part at Mrs. Clinton's direction. There was a marked contrast between Foster's heartfelt emotion to the Waco tragedy and Hillary Clinton's.